Well, guys, this is Casey's Raw again, and this is Video Game Hunting, Episode 14, Part 2. Uh, only got a couple games yesterday because, uh, not yesterday, Wednesday, after I got out of work, because I thought they were going to have sales, and also, um, uh, I know they've been having random sales, and I also got paid. So, I now know for sure that Vintage Dogs are doing their sales. So, uh, especially their two for one is the one I'm mostly looking for. To, to. They have a bunch of shit that they can't get rid of, they'll put out in front that literally they can't get rid of. But, um, so, uh, in a few minutes, I'm gonna ha be pausing this. But, I'll be doing my stretch. I'm gonna hit all the vintage stocks in my areas. And then, maybe. I definitely gotta see if the video game store is doing a sale. Uh, and then pop. And then, uh, maybe I'll hit the toy store. Uh, they have some video games and stuff. So maybe th they're doing some kind of sale. Unlikely because it's like a, uh, Fleet market kind of thing. So, oh gosh, it was crazy. I, a darn Drew show last night for the Thanksgiving slash Black Friday deal. Uh, I, like I said, I was trying. I want to do some reporting for the derail, saying that. Um, See if how crazy it is out there, but there's apparently just because of COVID, all the stores were closed. Uh, they wouldn't open until er earlier this morning, and I was certainly was gonna go out there and compete against these people in line. Screw that shit. I mean. I was shocked to see people in line in front of GameStop, and I shouldn't be, because I'd be like, okay, I understand, there's games and stuff. They promote about some games being cheap. But, uh, I guess GameStop, uh, what I was hearing, they were, actually had some PlayStation 5s, Xbox Series Xs and Ss in stock. But, um, I would love to go get a PS5 right now, but I'm like, God, God. I mean, honestly, I mean, I don't have that kind of cash. I guess I could hold on to, like, this money for this week and next week, and then I can go get the PS5, but it's so... Hard. One, I got bills to pay. Two, it's so hard for me to hold out and not do my runs and do, uh, go game shopping. It's just so hard. It's something I do. It's my hobby. I mean, going around searching for these games that I want. And not have to go through eBay. But I'm about to hit the first vintage stock. It'd be funny to like, we heard about your uh, video and your tweet the other day. We're not going to let your ass in. Or we have to kick you out. Unlikely. They, but... <laughs> I'm just calling out the BS of get, uh, vintage stock for the whole thing of, oh, we're going to make you pay not only 
$250 on top of the system, when it goes for, uh, also pay, uh, buy two more games. Fuck that. But I'm gonna pause this, I'll be right back. Well, just got out of that one exactly like I thought. They had shit in their uh, front tables that they can't get rid of. They just mark the hell out of them down. And it's just because, just to try to get those items that they can't get rid of. I know one thing is kind of like they were trying to do is to uh, get rid of these book uh, ends for they marked them at like 70 bucks and they were Super Mario ones and they only marked it down $10 down I'm like Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna turn here. I'm not gonna wait for all these guys taking forever. But I noticed lately, if you go look like a this idiot, this guy's literally not pulled in this parking spot all the way. This dumb motherfucker parked. Halfway in the parking spot, dumb fuck. It, it's do 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 do. And then one thing, those people who work at Vintage Stock, they're already playing the Christmas music. Uh, for me. I actually like Christmas music. I know the first year after my... The first year after my wife passed, I couldn't listen to Christmas music. I did not want to be happy about anything. Uh, I was... I was down about everything. Uh, I mean, rightfully so. Uh, I was just... I mean, first time in from 08 to 2016, I did not have her uh, be there for Christmas. So, but, you know, like I said, uh, there was a bunch of things that helped me cope over the the last couple, two, three years, that, uh, one, I gotta give it to my mom and, and my family, and two, big time was my girlfriend, she helped a lot, oh, she felt definitely, uh, filled that hole I had, that was missing, I mean, Honestly, I can't ever replace my late wife. And I still think about her all the time. But, uh... Yeah, my girlfriend helped a lot. And honestly, the third thing that does... I mean, I'm the... Uh, example of shopping therapy. Whatever I do with this uh, video game hunt. Uh, helped a lot too. Because a lot of times, if I find some good stuff and it gives me that adrenaline rush when I find something awesome, especially if I found something awesome, like as cheaply priced for a game or something I couldn't, can't believe I finally have in the collection. It just a high that I can't un undescribe. Like the biggest one, I would definitely say it was like when I picked up Panic Restaurant back in 2016. 
it was um when I was living in Pennsylvania working in uh Nazareth and uh one day I got like I told this story so many times that I got out of work I was planning to go to the pawn shop that was literally just you get out of my at the workshop, and you hook out, and you hook right back into the next driveway, and that was the pawn shop that I always did a lot of business with. But um, I was planning to go that way, but something told me that day to go towards Second Charles. I'm not saying it was just something; it was just. I don't know if you could say it's fate, but, uh, <laughs> people are still protesting this pet land. <laughs> Good luck trying to pass this guy. I need to get in the next lane, but, uh, yeah, I told the story before finding a panic restaurant for 50 bucks when it was worth between four and six hundred dollars. And, uh, the whole thing that I fought for a second, it was repro, uh, reproduction. Because the sticker on it said reproduction. But, um,. Luckily, I looked into it to find out it was real, but that was like the biggest high. And then, of course, when I found it, like a million times I said before, when I found it, uh, I couldn't reach no one. I couldn't reach my wife. I couldn't reach my brother-in-law. I couldn't reach any of my friends. I could, and I... Could, I don't even think I could reach my mom to say, hey, I can't believe I just stumbled across this. Uh, I think the first person I finally could show it off to was to um, my buddy at the pawn shop, and I just sent him a Facebook message. Or, I was like, dude, look at this. And I... But... It was just that one day, of course, I find something outrageous. And I couldn't find, couldn't get no one on the phone. A lot of times, I'll be like, I find something cool, I have to tell someone. And nowadays, it's either I'll call my girlfriend or call my mom. But... You know what? Actually, I'm starting to think about it. I'm in the area. I might see if I can call my buddy Scott. He's probably working. But I'm, I could give it a shot, see if he's free, and he'll come with me and do the runs. So I'm going to stop here and um, give it a try. See you guys later.